Well, I've been concerned about the sale of weapons within the region, massive sale of weapons to Saudi Arabia, and I've also raised a number of occasions the issue of human rights in Saudi Arabia. And indeed, in my speech to our annual party conference in uh, Brighton in September, I raised the issue of a British prison contract that was being sought in Saudi Arabia, and also the question of the death penalty on Mohammed al namir a young man who was guilty of nothing more than going to a protest. Uh, that speech and the brilliant work of many, many, many other people, not just me, helped to ensure that Britain withdrew from the prison contract and an older man, a British prisoner, who was in prison in Saudi Arabia has been released and others have not been executed. We've got to keep up the pressure, but I'm also concerned about the issues of where the financial support for ISIL comes from. And so what I've done is asked our government, as indeed we ask all governments, look into your banks, look into your banking system, who's laundering this money, look at the manufacturer's labels on those weapons that are used by ISIL. They didn't all come from nowhere. Somebody's been selling those weapons. But also look at the question of how we treat communities across the world so that we isolate ISIL for what it is, but we don't blame people in the Muslim community or any other communities. Anti-Semitism, Islamophobia, racism are all part of the same degree of intolerance. We've got to oppose those and bring communities together. Jeremy.